Hey friends and welcome to the Brito Wing Ken. You will be getting some fun tutorials for the next few weekends on Saturdays and Sundays. And starting us off is a flat tote 2.0 so remember that tutorial yeah we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of an upgrade and create a whole entire tote out of that so if you're ready my ghouls and goblins grab your supplies get your scary on and let's do this Alright, so we're going to start this off with two 4 by 6 pieces of cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and grab my corner rounder and round all four corners of both sheets. You can if you want to. You know, whatever tickles your fancy. And then I have my two matting pieces. Now, I am using a Halloween Market by Cartabella, which is a really pretty sturdy cardstock. But because of how I'm going to put this together, I still wanted to mat it. But if you want to go ahead and use solid um, cardstock and then mat or, you know, not use it at all, that's fine. So now I am taking my two inch circle punch and I am cutting out like a little half circle out of my solid cardstock, lining it up with one another so I can go ahead and try to mirror it and then I am not going to mat it yet but I just want to make sure I get it lined up properly with my matting piece that I'm going to put on there so then that way too I can go ahead and go punch out that circle as well. Now that we have both of those pieces done, we're going to go ahead and put it on the side and we're going to take our one piece that is going to connect everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and fold on my score lines. Now after I fold on my score lines, I'm going to add double sided tape on the long, the lengthwise of that half inch score. Now taking your scissors, we are going to cut little snippets out of everything. So starting on the right side, we're going to cut that little corner off. And then we're going to cut little triangles on the outside of the score line, meeting up to its joining score line. And then see how that looks right there, like little teeth? We are going to repeat that on the other side. All right, so it should look something like this, and we actually are not gonna work with this quite yet. We're gonna put this to the side, but I kinda wanted to get it out the way so I didn't have to be like, oh shoot, I have some cutting to do. So we are gonna go ahead and grab our front part of our pieces. And so I am using pom-pom trim, and what I'm doing is I'm applying my hot glue on the one side of that cutout circle, and I'm gonna put my pom-pom trim. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give it a little give. Like I'm not gonna make it tight straight across. I'm creating a handle. So you could do it straight across and do it like that, but I wanna have it to have a little bit like a more of a lift. So I'm going to make sure I pull up a little bit and then go ahead and adhere it 
the rest all the way to the end so you see how i have that kind of like bubble with my pom-pom trim that's the look i want to go with now you can go straight across i mean shoot you don't even have to do the circle cut out if you don't want to but that's just how i went ahead and did it now what we're going to do is our acetate pocket this is also an optional thing for you if you even want to use acetate in the first place but we are going to add some double-sided tape on the half inch score you guys know how these pockets are done i do it all the time but we're going to go ahead add our acetate or add our tape to the acetate we're going to fold on our score lines you know the little square in the corner just right there in the corners yeah we're going to snip those off we're going to do it at an angle Now I have this little scrap piece of glitter paper and I'm gonna actually add it across the top of my acetate so then that way it doesn't get lost and you can see that there is a pocket there. Um, of course, if you're putting stuff in it, people are gonna be like, oh wait, there's a pocket there. But um, when it's all taken out, is there a pocket there? Isn't it an illusion? does it have a pocket hmm so i just wanted to make it stand out more I'm like hey there's a pocket here guys you know that's what's up and that's why i'm adding that on there again you know you don't have to so now i'm going to go ahead and remove my double-sided tape and i'm going to adhere this to one of the sides of the tote now you can make two of these pockets and put it on both sides but i only did the one for the one side Now, silly me, working faster than I'm thinking, I forgot to, you know, round off the corners of my acetate to match up with my rounded corners of my tote. But it's okay, just if you want to go ahead and do that pocket, just before you take the tape off, make sure you round those corners, all right? So we're going to take our middle piece, we're going to bring that back into the party, and we are going to remove the double sided tape off of one side. Now, I'm also going to add glue to this as well, so then that way it'll be a lot easier to move and manipulate so on and so forth now as if you can tell the measurement for the base portion is smaller than the tote because i wanted the tote to be out longer and you know what have you so i'm looking and i am trying to line it up kind of like right before that um corner round begins and then i'm gonna have my sides poke out so it's not going to be straight up and down it's going to poke out a little bit i do it that way because it's going to help guide me to match my other side of my tote better and so i'm lining it up at the very edge of the bottom but remember it is shorter um width wise so it's not going to be as long as the tote but then i am taking my sides and i'm pulling them out kind of like a v Now that I have it adhered the way I want to, I'm going to remove the tape, I'm going to add my glue, and I'm going to go ahead and add my other side. And like bam we have our fun little tote so uh, this is giving that flat tote a facelift and making it into an actual full-blown tote and go ahead decorate this up do what you do make it spooky make it ghoulish make it cute have fun whatever the case may be so thanks so much for watching this i really hope you enjoyed the first start of this make sure you check the description box for all the info and details of the giveaway and until the next time Bye.